Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Friday. A troubling attack at North Miami Beach Senior High School where a lunchtime fight between two freshmen ended with a teen getting stabbed. The high school was placed on lockdown as the incident was investigated on Thursday. Sky 10 over that scene as first responders airlifted the victim to the hospital. Police say that young victim is stable. Officers believe they know who the suspect is. They're hoping he will turn himself in. A dangerous takedown caught on camera. Troopers spinning out a speeding truck on the turnpike in Broward County during rush hour on Wednesday. A small SUV was also hit as troopers executed multiple pit maneuvers to get the truck to stop. Troopers say three men were seen tossing a bag out the window during the chase. Troopers say they found cocaine and multiple weapons in the bag. Those three being held without bond for armed cocaine trafficking. New details about a deadly plane crash in the Everglades. Detectives identifying the victims on board as 51-year-old Mohammed Benjeki and 37-year-old Kadim Kebe. Their small plane found Wednesday morning near mile marker 28 along Alligator Alley after a loved one reported them missing. Officers say the plane took off from North Perry Airport Tuesday evening and went down 15 minutes later. A friend of Baden Jeki believes the plane may have suffered a mechanical issue. And a teen facing jail time after lying to police that she was sexually assaulted in Pembroke Pines. Sunday, the 17-year-old told police that a man in his 20s or 30s pulled her into some bushes on South Flamingo Road and sexually assaulted her. Detectives say she later confessed to making it up. If charged, that teen could face up to a year in prison. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.